This is Benjamin Ramirez. This is my um, one of my videos for. This is a really weird position. I'm trying to get my chessboard set up. I'm sorry. I have a cloth chessboard, and I already had it set up for white. And moving the board around is kind of difficult to do. So yeah, if you haven't noticed, the chess has changed its time controls. So 1510 is now rapid. Normally I play 1515 classical. That's not really an option anymore. Um, I mean, I can do it anyways if I wanted, but there's a good chance that people are not playing it. I've, on the Facebook one, people have complained about not being able to um, find games with 1515 control. So, all right. I've never seen this open like this, so I'm going to go over here. It kind of reminds me a little bit of, I don't forget what the name of it is called, but I'm pretty sure you guys know the one where the queen comes out early in the beginning, so I sound like a noob. <laughs> All right, well, this game I'm hoping to run through Stockfish, and I'm planning to show everybody how to go through Stockfish to um do this. Uh, unusual moves. Um, unusual is fine. It doesn't necessarily mean bad. So, uh, uh, all right. So far, it seems kind of normal. I um. I don't want, I just don't want his knight to come down, but I don't see any way to really avoid it fully. I can block it from the b5 square by going to a6. I don't see myself blocking it from d5, because he can right now just take my knight, I take his bishop, and then he can go down. And if he takes my knight, the bishop takes f6. If I do bishop take x5, then his knight can come down. To d5, so I don't see a way to really avoid it fully. Um, since I don't see a way to avoid it fully, I am going to just simply castle. There's no point in trying to prevent something. Yeah, I don't see how to prevent. I think I'll do this now because of the bishop. I don't want him to uh, line up the bishop and queen together. I'm not sure it's really a bad or good or not, but I just don't want him to. I want his pieces not to be together and coordinating, so. It's super weird playing opening that doesn't have book lines that I know of. So I just kind of look at simple ideas of tactics that I might have to worry about. You know, real basic stuff. Um, I can see him trying to put his queen over to h4. Because if he takes my knight, I take his knight, that will be checkmate. So I can see that happening. Um, now H6 would prevent that. I'm going to see. I'm going to go here. It will allow him to move there if he wanted to, but it prevent you know. I, I just I, I just want to see something. I'll, I may be able to block off the queen and bishop, depending on what he does, 
and I want to see if he wants to do it now or if he was trying to prepare for it. He wants to do it now. H3 is fine here. He can destroy my pawn structure for a, you know, if he wants, that's fine. He does. That's perfectly fine. His queen can come down if he wants, that's perfectly fine. My, um, right now he can't call a checkmate. My, um, my knight is preventing it on H, my F6 knight is preventing checkmate on H7. So that's why I wasn't worried about it. Now this is the move I was preparing for to block in the bishop and queen. Let's see how that works. He lost the bishop destroying my pawn structure. So once he moves that one out the way, I don't see how he can continue attacking. All right, he decided to sacrifice his bishop for no reason. He prevented me from going bishop to g5, which is something I was considering. I'm thinking about playing a boring game and just going bishop to e6, protecting my pawn from the knight, and just developing and Slowly winning. Because he can't attack with his queen by itself. And he can't call a check without losing his queen right now. So um, he has no pieces helping him. And I will just develop. He, he sacrificed both his bishops for two pawns. I made two videos with him. He's very good. I played three games. I didn't make a video last game. Um, I still, I still can if I want to, since I have all the notations saved. But this game, I want to um, run through Stockfish and show you guys how to run the game through Stockfish, basically. Oh, it's my move. I started, I don't know why I was thinking it was his move. I was waiting. Um, okay. He developed. Knight can go there or there. Nope. He can't move his knight forward because of my knights are blocking his. I think I should go for a queen side attack. I feel like my king side is pretty solid. I feel very safe. So I'm gonna do this, b5, like I said, I feel very safe. I could just capture it, um, but if I capture it, he captures back, he's threatening again. So if I don't capture, my bishop can defend. I felt like I, I was fine because my knights were blocking it. 
I even realized that he had another checkmate threat. Now, if I capture his knight, and he captures, he can't catch my bishop because I take his queen. If I capture his knight, he'll capture my my bishop. If I capture my, his knight with my bishop, he'll capture my bishop. Then I can move my other bishop down to protect. So that's what I'm going to do. Because he can't, if he takes my white's bishop, I'll take his queen. So he'll open up the line that he wants to open up to do checkmate. But my bishop is going down. Meaning he's not going to be able to continue to attack unless he does f4, and I have to I have a chance to prepare a defense. I may have to sacrifice a piece. Yes. Okay. So if I go knight to e7 and he moves down, I can easily capture. I can trade. I can trade one piece for two pawns, basically, to prevent checkmate, which is fine. Okay. He castled. I thought this would be a very boring and easy win, but he's actually putting pressure on for checkmate, so that's... um. Obviously, he understands how to play enough to do that. I'm going to clean up. And I'm going to move my rook behind the queen. I'm not sure which rook yet. Um, because of the pawn. The D5 pawn is being attacked twice and defended twice. And I don't want him to um, break up my center. Because right now he's got my king under pressure a lot. And if he able to break up my center at the same time, he might be able to do a stronger attack. Um, Now, if I take that, he can still move the pawn down. This is a very super strange game, and I definitely, definitely want to run this one through Stockfish. <coughs> if he goes knight to f6, let's check. He can do checkmate. He can do checkmate one way. I think I see two different ways you can do checkmate right now, and I can't. I don't see I can defend them both. I, my best move might be queen capture knight. I'm. I think this is my best move. He has checkmate either way, so my job is to stop checkmate. That's super weird. And he has another defender, I mean another attacker on f5. So pawn goes down. This would be a perfect game to analyze with Stockfish, as strange as it is. I mean, I could resign, but I, I want to really see him play it out. I, I really want to see him, you know, do this.
very weird. I thought he was gonna. I didn't think he was gonna take my. Well, I didn't think he was gonna put his rook down there. I thought he was gonna continue with the attack. Maybe he didn't see the checkmate. Maybe there wasn't a checkmate. I'll find out soon. Alright. I think I've got to see now. I'm going to resign here. Um, I, this is the most confusing game I've ever played, so I'm going to label it my most confusing game I've ever played. Now, they have an analysis thing here, but I have, I'm going to see something. Share URL, analyze this. This is my Stockfish app. It's called analyze this. You can actually import a game. Um, no, this is not the game. Something's wrong. I'm going to refresh this. This is something else I was looking at. So I want to share game URL, analyze this. It's not putting it in there. So share PGN maybe. All right, Klezman opening. Okay, so you gotta um share PGN then. I was black, so you just swipe with your finger to change it. I want to see what, okay, so e5 is the best, which is what I did. You play that. I think I played knight to f6, which Stockfish likes. I want to see my opening because i never seen that before. I took. Okay, so far, the moves that I played Stockfish actually really likes which I'm happy about. I'm always happy when I play openings and play proper moves, especially in openings I never really known or seen before. So he was making weird little small inaccuracies or mistakes, you want to call them. Bishop to e7 is what I played, I think, which is one of the top ones for him. Um, I castled, which was the not the best move. Um, okay. Yeah, I definitely don't want to put my password on the video. I canceled. Move up one. I think I played a6 here, which is not good. Okay, so I had like two inaccuracies in the beginning, but the part that's really, really bothering me is it was a super weird game. I expected that. Now here I played d5, which wasn't the best move because I was considering if he can find a way to put the queen on, where is it, a, b, c, d, e, four square. I didn't want him to put his queen on e4. That's what I didn't want. e4 is right. I can't show you because it's not his turn. But this right here is e4. That's why I moved the pawn there is to prevent that. So I moved up. Take was the best move. And that's what he did. I um obviously captured back. Which is... Pretty even, still even. That's pretty, you know, pretty cool. G5 check is the best move. This is winning for black, by far. 
Um, <sighs> here. Okay, this is one of the moves that were okay. That wasn't. I guess F6. Yeah. That was my inaccuracy there. He went down. I definitely seen the checkmate threats. I um defended, which the defense I used F five. Yeah. It wasn't the best one, but it was okay. And apparently, he, could, he had a free knight. I didn't see that. This is a super confusing game for me. I thought he had checkmate here no matter what. And he didn't. Apparently this was the best move right here. And then if he continued. Let me see something. Okay, that would have been me. The queen captures. Okay, now, all right. I could have defended against this pretty easily. I didn't even think about the idea of him going down. Me doing some, anything random. All right, I, I, all I do is miscalculate stuff. It was a super confusing situation for me. That was super confusing. So it was a good game, but if you're super confused, you couldn't run it through Stockfish and look at the moves. I just basically miscalculated and I ended up resigning because of it. Um, I still don't understand the game, so I'm gonna have to go over it a few times, but this is how you, I guess this is how you analyze, and it's called Clemens opening, C-L-E-M-E-N-C. -E -E <coughs> Alright, well, I hope you guys enjoyed. Now subscribe and like. I'm learning, and I'm hoping that I'm doing a service for the chess community, and I'm trying to help people learn as well, for free. As I get better, who knows what I'll do, but, alright.